Okay, so once you've opened up ArcMap, sometimes it takes quite a while to load. And this is the window that'll appear. Sometimes there's a window as well that says, do you want to open a previous project? You can close that, because today we're starting a new project and we're loading in data from, I think, from Namibia. Um, all of this was material was prepared by Matthew Brayshaw in the School of Geosciences, and it's a course that he runs for the Masters in Economic Geology um, group. And so let's look at what this window contains. At the top here, we've got different menus that we'll be using. There's obviously these different icons. On the left is a table of content where all of the data you load will be listed. There's another feature on the right here that says catalog and search and create features, all of which we'll use eventually. And then this central square here is where all your data will be loaded. And so obviously, it's only going to load it if you've got a defined coordinate system. So how do we define our coordinate system? We go to View, we go down to Data Frame Properties, and these are all the tabs inside of it, and we're going to click on the Coordinate System tab. Sometimes can take a bit of time to load. And so, sorry, I've been playing around with this, so mine is already loaded. Let me just go down and decrease it. So what should come up for you is this geographic coordinate system and projected coordinate systems. And so most people have experience with using lat long. You might have heard of something called WGS84 before, which is a datum. And so we are quite used to using this first one here, this geographic coordinate system. If you've ever used something like UTM, or in South Africa we have another one called LO, that is a projected coordinate system. And so it's all about how do we move from a map that we've got in front of us on a piece of paper, and how do we create that from the sphere that we're living on? So we're taking a coordinate system on a sphere, or coordinate on a sphere, and putting it on a flat piece of paper. How do we unfold that sphere and make it onto this flat piece of paper? So that's all got to do with this projected coordinate system. Um, lat long, obviously you know about it, it's the latitude and longitude on the sphere. The thing that we need to make sure we've defined is what is the datum. And so the datum has to do with the spheroid. And so all of these I'm sure are new words for you. You're welcome to go look them up on YouTube. So type in datum, spheroid, coordinate system. And so a spheroid is pretty much the mathematical model used to describe the Earth. So the Earth is not a perfect sphere, it's not a perfect um, perfect anything. <laughs> it's got all different bumps and it's quite difficult to describe exactly. And so what scientists do is they have a mathematical, mathematical model that best describes it and they call that a spheroid. So we need to say what spheroid are we using, which is the same as defining what data we're using. So, and so if you're confused by all of this, don't stress. Um, look it up on YouTube or just follow exactly what I'm clicking on. Click on this plus here and you can see there's all different um, datums defined for different countries but there is a, like a global datum uh, that is commonly used nowadays so if you go down to world and click on this plus sign and scroll down it's the WGS84 datum. So you can see once you click on it it should give you information about this coordinate system or this datum down here. And you can see it's telling you that's the datum, it's the WGS84 spheroid, and this semi-major and semi-minor axes, um, if I get it right, are the actual distance, um, well, it's the diameter of the Earth, where it's at its widest and at its narrowest. Um, so yeah, this is just a model to describe the shape of the Earth, and we need to tell ArcMap what it is, which one we are using when we're loading our data. So click on it and click OK. Uh, OK, and, oops, sorry, I shouldn't have closed that. So if you closed it, go back to View and click on Data Frame Properties. And you're going to go here to General. And so what we're going to do here, it's telling us that our coordinates are in going to display in decimal degrees. You can also do it in degrees minutes seconds if you want, or degrees decimal minutes, but most people either use degrees minutes seconds or decimal degrees. So make sure you change this to degrees minutes seconds. Click on it, and now you can click OK. Okay. 
Okay, and now we've changed our coordinate system. And so what you can see, I should have shown highlighted it before, in our bottom right hand side here, you can see there's east and north and there's degrees, minutes, seconds, degrees, minutes, seconds. So this, wherever I move my mouse on the map, it changes. It is telling you down there what the coordinate is at this location. So if I go back and I change it to what we had originally, so let's change it to decimal degrees, you'll see the value there changes. And so you can see, that looks the same. Let's try one more time. General. Sorry, did I not change it properly? Decimal degrees, apply. Okay. No, it's staying the same. 